Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's tutorial, we're going to be learning how to fix a, a trouser side pocket. Trousers pocket. The pocket is only on the side of the trouser. We'll be learning how to fix it in today's tutorial. So, when fixing your pocket on your fabric, let's say this is your trouser. The front is always on the front piece, and this is the side where your seam allowance will be. That's where your pocket is always placed. So, on this, let's assume that this is the wrong part. You go in, you mark from the waistline down with 7 inches or 7.5 it depends on how big or thick the person is but mostly it's always 7 inches from 6.5 to 7 inches, inches depending on the person's on the size of the person so let's say we are using 7 inches you go ahead and mark your 7 inches and place a notch on that area like this then you use your gum stay to gum it. Either light one or a paper gum or gum stay. You use it to gum it. And then when you gum it, you bend it like this with two inches and iron it down. Two inch, the two inches will be on this side. This side like this, you bend it and iron it down. Just like I have done here, just like I have done here, I before doing that, I went ahead to overlock all the rough edges so that it will not fill out. So, can we see what I'm trying to explain? I gum it with my gum stay, then went down with seven inches and notch it there, then I bended it this way. And iron it down with two inches. Can we see? This is two inches. Bend it and iron it down like this with two inches. Then the pocketing, the pocketing, you pick, let's say this is the pocketing, you pick your pocketing, fold it into two, iron it down. Then you fold it into four and iron it down. Then the length of your pocketing is always 13 inches, maximum 13 inches. Let's say this is where my 13 inches is. I'll go ahead and mark my 13 inches here. Then the width, I always use seven inches for mine. You can use 6.5, but I always use seven inches. So let's say this is where my 7 inches is, connect it together, up to that at 10 points, like this, then you go up with 3 inches on this side and then give it a nice curve like this and cut it out following those markings like this and you will be having your pocket thin this is what i've done and this is what i'm having this is how my own look like 13 by seven inches this is it now the next thing you'll be needing you know you cannot just use this one you can't just use this one plain like this i didn't mean it's your main fabric that you use to cut your protein there will be no need for you to use a facing but since i'm not using the main fabric for the pocketing for the pocket i will be using a facing and this is the facing that I'll be using 
you might be wondering how did I get this facing that trouser the back part that you caught let me say this is the your your trouser waist let's say this is the back then the crotch here then you shape it like this This part, this part that you cut out, this particular crouch part for the back, for the back, not the front one, the back one. This particular part that you cut, this is what you'll be using as your facing. You go ahead and shape it like this. And the width should be at most. And the width will be at most four inches. The width four inches. The length does not matter. You can go ahead and use the length that you have there. At the end of the day, you still trim it out. So now I'm going to be taking mine to the sewing machine. You go ahead and open your pocketing like this. Open it like this and place it this way. Can we see the, the amount that I pull out? Does not have any measurement, but just make sure you pull some of the pocketing out like this. Then inside, push it. Do not be equal to your pocket to your trouser on this side. Push it down. Then you bend it. Bend it like this. Bend it like this. And now I will take it to the machine and start sewing it less than quarter of an inch. I will sew it. Let's see where the quarter of an inch is. So it will be less than quarter of an, of an inch. Let's say zero, 0 0.2. You can go ahead and use 0 0.2 but not 0.25 this is where my quarter of an inch is this is from this point to this point is the quarter of an inch or let me use this one one this is one inch this is quarter quarter of an inch so i'm not going to reach you so from this point to this point 0 0.1 use 0 0.1 to sew it you sew it with 0 0.1 like this up to this point and lock it here. Then you turn it to this side. When you lock it, you stitch it, you turn it like this and sew on this particular place to, to hold it down on your pocketing. You sew it down to hold it down. Then you flip it to this side. You flip it to this side like this and make sure you measure where your two inches is will be. You flip it like this after you've sewn it, you flip it like this and cross check if this will give you your two inches. And this is exactly two inches. Then on this down here, the seven inches, you pick it up and place your pocket facing like this if you indicate where the right side you know where the right side is you place it like this and sew it sew it sew it sew it and lock it here then you go ahead and place this one back again knowing where your two inches is let me take it and go and do that and bring it so that we will not get confused I'll go ahead and fix the lining so it will be less than a quarter of an inch. Open it up, lock it here, then get gauge it to get where my two inches will be after I've placed it like this to lock and then I'll put this one back and come here. I'll bring it to show. So guys, I've gone ahead to do mine. 
and this is what I'm having. Can we see? I've sewn this one down. Then I use less than quarter of an inch to sew it. Make sure that your hand is straight when you are sewing it. The stitches up to be straight so that when somebody look at your work, they will appreciate your handwork. Now to fix this, this part that is straight is always on this side, while this one that is a little bit curved is always inside. Now I will go ahead and gauge it. I will go ahead and gauge it to know where the two inches is if I turn it. So you hold it like this. Let's see if this will give me my two inches. No, it is not. So don't pull it down instead. You pull it up, pull this side up a bit. And let's see if this will give us our two inches. A little bit more than that, so we pull it down a bit. This should be two inches. It's less than two inches again. Then you pull it up again. Just try and gauge it. Make sure. That you will guess, and this is exactly my two inches. So, this place, the seven inches mark, I'll mark it here. I'll mark it here like this. I hope we're seeing the red chalk. Mark it here. This is where my seven inches is. Then I will pick the pocket facing and place it half inch or three quarter inch away from the seven inches that is to say it will be seven three quarter i'll place it there then i'll go ahead and sew it sew it to this place turn it and sew it up to this place and lock it let me quickly go and do that and bring it now i'll close it and this is what we are having this is what we are having. So I will go ahead and now bend it to that place. Make sure you align it. You can see, go ahead and cross check it. But make sure that your pocketing is flat. When you are buying a pocketing, please don't buy the hard one. There are some pocketing that when you, when you fix it on your trouser, this place part of the pocket will be standing, will just make your work look somehow unprofessional. Please look for the soft one. This one is very, very soft. And this is my two inches. So I will take it to the machine again and lock it here. I will lock it here and lock it here and bring it for us to show us the next step. So I've locked the side. I've locked it. I've locked it here. Lock it here. But remember, the pocket is still open inside. There's no closer side. Then here, you go ahead and trim it like this. Then you raise it up. This one. You will notch it, but the notch will be from where your facing stop, your pocket facing stop. You will notch it inside. Notch it inside like this. Then you open it, bring it back to your pants, put your hand inside and bring it out. Bring the pocket facing, the pocketing out. Bring the pocketing out, turn it this way. Make sure you adjust it. 
turn it this way and align the notch. Not on this side. If you don't worry about this side. Definitely one side will be bigger than the other. But here should be equal where you the notch stop. The two notches on this side to align. Can we see the two notches? This notch and this here will be aligned. Don't worry about this side. To be aligned, then you go ahead and start your sewing here. You should not cross with this place. Start your sewing here like this. You sew it like this. Sew it like this. Up to the end. Up to this place here. Let me go and do that and finish. So I've sewn it, and this is what we are having. So I will go ahead and trim off all these excesses. You trim it off like this, then go back and take it, pull it back. Pull it out like this. Make sure you bring out the edges, the angles, bring them out. Make sure everything is well aligned. Like this. I'm not going to leave, be leaving it like this. I'm not going to be leaving it like this. I'll go ahead and take it to my machine again and start locking it here. You will now start locking it here. Follow quarter of an inch very close to the edge. Less than quarter of an inch. You sew it like this, then you go around, top stitch it, top stitch your pocket so that it will be firm. Top stitch it like this. Please, if you've watched to this point and you've not subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Subscribe, like, share, leave a comment on the comment section. I would really love to know your thoughts about this tutorial. And Share with your family and friends. So let me go ahead and top stitch it and bring it up. And this is what we're having. Our pocket is ready. See the top stitch that I did on it? This way, your pocket will be firm on this side. It will not get punch. Or the stitches, the first stitches will not lose. And this is how I, I use on I normally attach my side pocket to my trouser. Very simple and easy. The easiest method I can think I can think of. I'm not asking you to discard or dispute any other method out there, but I'm only trying to share my own knowledge on how to attach how. I'm showing you my own methods, how the method that works for me. So if this you're interested in this one, this one is easy for you. Go ahead and I adopt this. So thank you guys. This brings us to the end of our tutorial. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the notification bell to get notified and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. God bless you. God bless us. God bless our nations, wherever you're watching me from. God bless Nigeria. Let's stay safe and show love to one another. Charity begins at home, so please, what will stop you from starting with me? Please show me love and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.